Greetings, everyone. I think you all know what time it is. Oh, yeah. It's time for a miracle! Okay, so first off, an obligatory thank you to every single person, man, woman, child, and sentient dolphins that sent in the entry for the We Need a Miracle contest! Especially considering this was something I came up with at the last minute. I don't know if you guys remember, it was chapter 680 uh, was when I announced the contest, and that was the same chapter that uh, the end of Bleach was announced. You know, we only have blah, 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 more chapters left. And I'm sitting there, like, doing the review, like, in the process of filming the review, I was like, man, it's, it's ending soon, I want to do another contest. And I'm thinking, well, fuck it, we'll just do one right now. <laughs> just, yeah, there, there there you go. Now, obviously, I can't go over every single entry right here, uh, but I did read all of them. It just took a long-ass time, especially with everything that's been going on in the Bleach series. Um, a few of them stood out, though. Uh, the few that I really loved were the ones that utilized the characters that we didn't get really a lot from. Uh, not just this arc, but just in general, like uh, uh, Isane. You know, Isane was actually utilized a few times, and I remember there was one where we found out what her Shikai ability was, uh, Itegumo, uh, which means frozen cloud, and her Shikai produces like a mist, and anything that comes in contact with the mist is, is frozen, stationary in place, but it's only whatever the mist is touching. I'm like, that's that's a pretty damn, you know, it's not overpowered, it's, it's, there's some weaknesses to it, but for Lieutenant Zanpakuto, that actually seems like a pretty cool ability. Um, Yumachika was utilized a lot, you know, what is his Bonkai? Because, you know, it was hinted at way back in the Arankar arc, uh, him and, like, Rangiku were, like, talking to their swords, and they were like, you know, oh, my, you know, Fuji Kujaku, Ruryo Kujaku, he's so difficult, and Hineko's so moody, you know, they'll never learn Bonkai. Kai, blah blah blah. We got to find out what that is. Um, other characters like Love and Shinji and the Visors made an appearance. There was other fan fictions that focused mostly on just uh, Toshiro Kenpachi and and Byakuya. You know, they they started the fight and they finished the fight. There was a few like that. Um, there were a few that had uh, crossovers with fairy tale characters. Which, I, I know, I, I said not to do that, so I'm sure a lot of them just did it just for fun. I know, maybe it's this, maybe they were writing their own crossover series and they figured, why not send it to me? They were good for a laugh, but, uh, don't put fairy tale in with Bleach. It's, it works a lot better with Naruto. Do you know how many fucking Naruto X fairy tale crossover fanfictions there are? Go read one of those, but keep it out of Bleach. Yeah. Also, big shout out to the few people that actually sent me in uh, artwork. Uh, that you didn't have to do that. I, in fact, I even said in the, in the uh, video, I think I've said it as one of the rules, like, you can send me in drawings if you want, but it wouldn't be very fair to judge the contest based off of that, because only like two or three people, you know, sent me in that manga format, and not everyone can draw, so it wouldn't be fair for me to pick a winner based off your drawing ability, but even so, I got a few entries that had like the manga format, like panels and panels, pages and pages of m manga, you know, formatted freaking entries, and they were really good as well. So thank you for those people. I'll put your names up right there because I got a lot of entries and I can't remember you all. I'm sorry. Fix it in post. We need a miracle, bitches. But I think I've gone on long enough. I know a lot of people out there are like, come on, Tekking, get on with it. Who's the winner? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the winner of the We Need a Miracle contest and the recipient of the $40 Amazon gift card is a writer by the name of Keenan. What I loved about Keenan's entry is not only did it utilize characters that we didn't get really a lot from uh, this final arc, not the least of which, of course, being Shinji. I think that was the big one. Everyone was, like, face-palming over. You know, we get Uohara's Bankai, Kenpachi's, Toshiro's fully matured Bankai. We get all this shit, but Shinji. We, we still don't know anything about Shinji. What is Bankai? I think he's the only captain in the current incarnation of the Gote, other than Uketake, that did not reveal his Bankai. And Uketake had a reason. He wasn't even in this fight, really. He was off doing something else that was, you know, pretty important, you know, summoning the Mimihage. But here we have Shinji, who also kind of an equally, he's a pretty important guy in the series, and we don't get to see his Bankai. Um, but not only did he utilize these characters, Keenan also uh, was one of the few that actually managed to have me laugh out loud when I was reading this. Uh, the, the conclusion on how we finished off Gerard, it, it makes sense, it really does, but it was also fucking hilarious considering how that fight went. 
um, and, I, and I, I, I just loved it. Now I'm going to be doing a proper review of Keenan's entry at a later date, uh, and I'm also waiting on his permission to make the entry available. I didn't feel right about just putting the entry up on my Google Drive for all you guys to see without getting his permission first, so I'm going to wait to get that, um, and then I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, but just to give you guys like a brief overview of what he did, uh, it utilized Love's Bonkai, which... Let's think about this. Love does not really get a lot of love. Yeah, I'm so clever, but seriously, let's think about this. He's, you know, you got you got four Captain Class Shinigami in the fucking visor group. You got Shinji, Rose, Kensei, who all become captains, you know, after the time skip. You know, Rose Squad 3, Shinji Squad 5, Kensei Squad 9. But uh, Love doesn't really get any spotlight because Love was the captain of Squad 7, and, you know, Sanj Asajin still has that position, although maybe not anymore. Maybe Love will become the new captain of Squad 7 now that Komamura is, you, you know, a dog. But... Still, he's a Captain Class Shinigami, we know he's confirmed to have Bankai, and every other visor that was confirmed to have Bankai, well, except for Shinji, of course, we got to see that. We got to see Rose and Kensei's, uh, but we didn't get to see Shinji, but at least Shinji still had some fights this arc. All Love really did was show up at Gerard at the first battle, you know, launched an attack, and then immediately got knocked back. So it utilizes Love's Bankai in collaboration with Shinji's, they kind of work together in a really unique way. Um, as well as the way it's finished off with uh, how Gerard actually ends up dying. It involves Shinji's Bankai, but it also involves another character, and I'm not going to spoil it because I really want to do a review of that, and I really want to, you know, do something clever with that. So uh, check back here, you know, whenever I get permission, I'll put the link in the description below. You can go read his entry. But yeah, thanks for everybody. But yeah, once again, thanks to everybody who took time out of their day to try to give a, uh, a decent ending to this fight that Gerard deserved. I mean, all the other shoot stuff and got a decent ending to their fair fights, and Gerard was just like, oh, well, series is ending, so we gotta, you know, hurry up and just whatever, you're dead. I'm like, okay, that kind of sucks. So it's, it's good that you guys actually um, cared enough about the character to give him a decent uh, send-off. I also have to say... One thing that pretty much all of these had in common, not every one, but a lot of them had in common, was the last line. The last line of the, of the fan fictions were always, they were different, but they all had the same kind of thing. And it was always playing on, on, the, on the miracle. You know, like on the ones where, you know, Shinji took him out, it's always just like, you know, guess that's a miracle, or I guess miracles can happen to us too, or, you know, killing you, that's what's called a miracle. Man, it's pretty damn, we're, we're beaten down, but we got back up and we killed you. I guess that's what you would call a miracle. Always some play of the miracles. That was that was one thing that was pretty common all throughout, but there's some of them were still pretty clever. All right, well, uh, thanks to everybody for watching. I don't know if I'm going to be doing another contest at some point. Uh, we'll, we'll look forward to that. Just because Bleach is ending is just because I'm not going to do it. I probably still will do something at one point if the idea crosses my mind. I am going to be doing another popularity poll, though, coming up that's going to involve a lot of... Um, yeah, I'll wait for that. But uh, until then, thanks for watching. This will be Teching 101 signing out.